This holocron has a misaligned corner. Because the corner is misaligned, I can't turn the other corners all the way, and because I can't do that, the holocron won't turn on. So I need to fix this corner. So here's how we're going to do that. First, I'm going to need to take the shell apart. Uh, the way to do that is find the tray where you put your crystal in, okay? And flip it upside down so the tray is away from you, that the number or the, the little text here on the little USB port are facing up at you. Turn the corners. Hopefully these aren't the ones that are misaligned. And you're going to see in every corner there is a Phillips head screw. You're going to need to unscrew those. The screws have been removed. Put those off to the side. Don't lose them. I'm going to close this. I'm going to tip it on its side. This is going to come, uh, come in half like this. But before I go there and, and break it apart, I also want to open up the tray here that the, the, the kyber crystal goes into. It just makes removing or taking this apart easier. Now another thing, there's going to be one wire connecting the two halves. It's the wire that goes to the switch in one of the corners up here. It's connected to the bottom half. Don't just pull this apart with a lot of force, otherwise you're going to break the wire. So you want to start to take it apart gently to find out where the wire is. I don't see the wire here, but there it is. There's that green wire. Hopefully you can see that right there. So you want to disconnect it. Now you can just come in here and disconnect it like, you know, let me zoom in and show you. I can either come in here and just pull it out right like that, or I could go a step further here and rotate the two halves of the holocron together like this. That makes getting in here maybe a little easier. Pull that out, and there you go. The two halves are now separated. Now, this bottom half here doesn't have the badly misaligned uh, corner, so I'm going to move that off to the side. This side does have the misaligned corner. This is what I want to focus on. So if you notice, we have uh, this white plastic ring here with four screws in it. That is holding down in place a, a gear, a big circular gear, that connects all four of these uh, corners together. And then beneath that, each corner has its own individual gear that engages this big circular gear at the top. So, fixing the alignment is actually really easy in this case. It is remove the screws holding the four corners together. In fact, you don't even need to remove them, just loosen them so the, the gear can come up a little bit. Okay, and lift, just hold those up a little bit, and then you can just put it back down on the ground and let the gears align themselves. And that's it, the gears have been realigned. Then you just screw everything back in place, reassemble everything, remembering to reconnect that green wire, and that's all set. You're done. But I want to investigate a little further just to show you the mechanism here that's being used. Because I think it's worth getting a better understanding of how the corners are designed, why you can only turn them so far, and then it feels like you're being prevented from turning them further. So I'm going to remove this uh, plastic ring at the top that holds the circular gear, which is this, in place. And now we can get a much better look at the individual gears here for each corner. And I'm going to actually remove one. I'm going to push that crystal tray out of the way. Which, by the way, if you ever need to for any reason, the tray is held in place by these two tabs here. And if you push down on them, as you pull the tray out from the other side, you might be able to get the tray out. I find I need like tweezers or something because my hands are just too big to get in there. And if I just press one of those tabs down, like so, that it'll start to come out. Do the other one, and now it comes the tray. So the gears themselves, I'm going to take one of these apart. And that comes out like that. And then the corner comes out like this. And now we start to see the mechanism that prevents the corners from turning all the way around. There is a little slot here, into which 
this little curved piece fits, preventing you from turning it more corner from more than that amount. That is it. That is what's blocking your ability to turn the corner any farther. So if you have a misaligned corner and you want to try and force it back into place, you might find you can't turn it any further. It's not because of the gears, it's because of this little piece here interfacing with this slot here. The, uh, the shaft here that, that this gear is going to connect into, you can see has a flat end on it, or a flat side. The gear also has a flat side. That is how they uh, line up. They can only line up in one way, and that is how those connect. So now I'm going to put that back together. There we have the gears back in place. Um, also, as I said before, that green wire goes to a little switch. The switch is what tells the, uh, the holocron that these four corners have been turned. So if you look at this particular gear here, it has an extra little tab on it, an extra little um, lobe that engages that little micro switch that's hidden in there to push it down, creating that clicking noise. And that is how the holocron knows that you've turned it on. It closes the switch, which the holocron detects, and knows it can turn on. Reassembly is pretty straightforward. Um, the first thing, of course, you want to do is make sure all your corners are aligned. So that's easy enough. Just close them up and put it on the ground and the ground will keep them aligned for you. Then you can bring in the circular gear here. Just put that on top. Make sure the green wire stays in the middle of the circle here. Don't let it sneak out to the side like that. That's going to catch on the gears. And just wiggle it around a little bit until it locks into place, roughly anyways, with the gears used for the, uh, the corners. And take the other gear here, uh, the other circle, uh, white plastic circle here, that goes on top, and it should sort of find its place, and you shouldn't be able to twist it in, in any direction once it's locked in place, and just screw it back in. All right, with the gears reassembled, we can do a quick test just to make sure that everything's working fine. I can lift this up and, you know, hold it on the inside here with one finger and here with another finger so that when I turn the corner I'm not blocking the other corners from turning. And I can see that they are all turning in unison and I can hear the click of the switch so this will be able to turn on once I reassemble everything. So the next step then is I can save the door for last but I'm going to put the door back in now because some people might not have removed the door. Um, to put the door back in, you're going to see the face here. One end has a couple of the little right angle things sticking out. And that's where the top goes. So just slide it in there. And just a bit of force because these uh, these tabs are designed to uh, bend down when you're pushing it in, but also then have a flat edge here. So when you try to remove the door, it catches on the side of the, uh, the holocron and it can't come out unless you go and push those tabs down like I did earlier. Okay, so now that is taken care of. I now need to reconnect this green wire. Before I reassemble, I just want to talk about a couple of things. First, the inside of mine is going to look a little bit different. I have this white flat flex cable here. Yours will be orange. Mine is white because I've replaced it because I broke the original one. Um, I've also added some connectors here, like this connector. These white wires go to the uh, touch pads on either side that are used to detect when uh, you put your fingers on it to activate the holocron. That's just to make disassembly easier because I was taking this thing apart and reassembling it several times in the span of working on uh, figuring out how the holocron worked. So I did that for myself to make things easier to disassemble. Uh, yours will obviously not have 
that connector or this yellow connector for the speaker in there. Other than that, everything you see here should be exactly how yours is. Now with respect to the misaligned corners, if your corner that's misaligned is on the side with the USB port, you're going to run into some extra difficulty here. You hopefully will be able to get some kind of access to those screws because you need to unscrew those four screws in the corner in order to remove this so you can disassemble everything and fix the gear alignment. If you can't get all of those screws, you're, you're stuck. And what you're probably going to have to do is hold the other corners in place and force the, th the one that's misaligned back into alignment. You might get lucky, the gear might slip and fall back into place. You also might wind up cracking the gear, in which case you're probably going to have to disassemble your holocron, which you'll be able to do once that gear is broken and get access to those screws. You'll have to disassemble the holocron pull out the broken gear, super glue it together, put it back in place and reassemble everything. It's not a great solution, but that's the only way I can think of that you would be able to to open this up to fix the gear alignment issue if it's on this side. All right, so now I need to connect the two sides back together and reassemble everything. So I have the green wire here that I need to reconnect to this side. The green wire is connected to this connector here next to the red wire connector. The easiest way I find to do this, because there's not a lot of slack here on the green wire, is to keep this side flat on the ground. Turn this at an angle reconnected like that. Now I'm going to lift these up because I want to push this door open because it's going to get in the way of trying to realign everything. See it gets in the way so open that door and it disconnects the green wire. Brilliant. Try that again. I've disconnected that green wire so often that the connector is a little loose. All right. So now I just need to sort of line things up here. I can put both tabs on the ground here on the table and just sort of bring them together like so. And I'll close the door. And everything is lined up back together. Now I just need to turn these corners on the micro USB side and put the screws back in. There we go. All the screws are back in place, and uh, now we can turn the holocron on. Perfect. Now, one more thing I want to cover real quick is obviously that was a significant misalignment, but your corners might be slightly misaligned, and that's normal. So, for example, you notice there's a lot of play in how far these corners will turn before they start to uh, have an impact on forcing the other corners to turn through that, that circular gear. That play is normal. It's just a product of how the gears were designed. So if your holocron is slightly misaligned like that, that's, that's normal. Don't worry about that. You're fine. It's only when it's severely misaligned to the point that this can't turn on that's when you have a problem and you need to take this apart to realign all the gears. So hopefully that helped you and good luck.